Hello everyone, it's Allie from Titan and welcome back to our channel. I am here with our second personal break of the day. Do have another Star Wars The Mandalorian Season 1 Hobby Box trading card tin here. And also, I know you guys have been craving another opening of this. Do have a Garbage Pail Kids Chrome Series 3 opening to check out for Don V as well. So these two boxes here are for Don V from Colorado. Thank you so much, Don, for your understanding and patience this past weekend. We were having a lot of issues with our internet connection, uh, both on Saturday and Sunday. I tried my best to wait it out Saturday night, was sitting around for two hours, not doing anything, waiting for all the lag to clear. Came back Sunday morning, was good for a couple hours, and then starting acting up again. Boss Man was able to get a Spectrum supervisor out to the scene. Hopefully that should be resolved by this upcoming weekend. Fingers crossed. If not, we're going to have to throw a serious fit, even a crazier fit than we have been already. But let's go ahead and get on into these two boxes. I'm excited to check these out. I was actually between uh, this past opening for Jordan L and this one here, I was looking actually the rest of our recorded Mandalorian season one boxes are coming all today. And then we just have two tins this upcoming weekend for Geriatric Geek and then it is all over. We've been sold out for a couple days now just getting through the rest of those openings. So it'd be quite sad to see our last tins on Saturday and our last recorded tins today. But let me go ahead and get on into these. That's what I was trying to do beforehand by snapping us into the corner. Let's get started. I'm actually going to start with the Mando tin because they do go by pretty quickly. So let's crack on into it and see what's autograph or sketch card and potentially any bonus hits we will find here in this one box. And then we will have the gross children. All right, here we go. Let's open it on up. Take out the seven packs. As I said, one auto or sketch card guaranteed. We do ship the tins as well, although that information is not too relevant anymore because we don't have any in stock. All right, here we go. Let's get started. Pack number one. We have our base cards. We have a character's insert, Cardoon. Blue parallel, the healing. We just saw a silver out of 25 for Jordan directly prior to this video. Pack number two. Aliens and Creatures, Off-World Jawa insert. Little green button pusher, adorable. I still need the gold of this card for my rainbow. I have every other parallel, including both one of ones. We actually do have a bonus hit as well. You have Quill with the little baby Yoda medallion here. Looks like a base. It's just a base unnumbered medallion, but this does count as a bonus hit. They are more common in retail. But instead of having each box have a medallion, like Rise of Skywalker and Series 1, Series 2, where it's like an auto or sketch plus a medallion, they just have medallions as bonus hits here. As I said, they are more common to get in retail, so if this was like an actual hit of the box, it'd be a bit sad. But every time you find one, it's always great, always love bonuses. But why did I put him right there in the way? Uh, but for these, you do need a fixed sleeve and a 180 point top loader. Quill and Baby Yoda. Now I say retail as if retail Mando is still easy to find. I actually have a pile of retail stuff for me to open up on my personal channel at some point. I do have a retail Mando blaster box. I also have a Vivid Voltage Elite Trainer box and some Yu-Gi-Oh blaster box. I'll get to them at some point, but I don't think you can even find Mando retail anymore. We have concept art insert and a blue parallel. So I guess them being more common in retail doesn't matter at this point, since you can't find retail. All right, let's see what's in here. What do we have? Ooh, we have a sketch card by, oh, is that a Maliki a car sketch? I know Boss Man is a big fan, big name Marvel artist as well. Let's check it out. Oh, actually we saw a similar sketch, I believe Saturday night of Stormtrooper heads, but that is super cool. Bit gruesome, but very awesome to look at. Look at them Stormtrooper helmets, man. That is super cool. And like I said, as long as I'm not mistaken, I believe that is a Malika Akar sketch. Ooh. Never pulled one before, so that is definitely very awesome. Congrats, Don. That is a great pull. All right, let's get you sleeved up. Bonus hit and a gorgeous sketch here in, like I said, our, well, I didn't say exactly, but our sixth to last Mando tin ever from season one. We actually upped our order on season two just because we've had a lot of people asking about cases as well. Uh, so we're, we're trying to get more. I mean, at the point of what we're ordered, I don't know if we order more, if it's going to affect our allocation numbers at all. 
But hopefully we get everything we ordered. That would be great. Uh, I think we're at like 35 or so cases on order right now. Uh, just because it has been, season one has been so popular. You guys love watching these videos. They're very, very popular in the channel, in, in store, online, everything. You know, the actual cards themselves, the, the boxes, the actual tin, just the empty tins have been nuts. So I'm excited for the season two tins, fibro blades. Uh, based on what Tops put out on the product solicit, they should actually be Baby Yoda tins, which would be amazing. I definitely have to pick up at least two for myself. Just can't not have Baby Yoda head tins. Like, they're good for storage. But last pack here for Dawn from the Mando box. We have Fennec Shan characters insert and a blue parallel. All right. Let's do a recap here of the Mando tin. No numbered parallels, but we did get a bonus medallion, Quill, and Baby Yoda. Uh, the child, Grogu, all of the above. And we also had this gorgeous sketch here of these Stormtrooper helmets. Or like I said, I believe Malik Akar. So very, very cool sketch there. Let me go ahead and pile this stuff on up. So we have, oop, runaway friendly competition. So we have room for this Garbage Pail Kids Chrome opening. Let me go ahead, stack them on up. Boop, 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 boop. That works. All right, here we go. Let's get into the Gross Children box for Dawn. I remember when the product came out, we were opening up a lot of products for Joshua K. Well, a lot of boxes of Garbage Pail Kids Chrome. I remember he told me he was just jonesing to open up some Chrome cards, Chrome non-sports, and he's like, eh, Garbage Pail Kids. Did actually quite well on it. I think the lowest numbered parallel we've seen has been uh, out of 25. Found a couple of those C variations as well, so I'm excited to see what we can find here. Maybe we'll find our first Super Fractor. Let's get started, pack number one. There are just four cards per pack, by the way. Uh, I'll be separating them out by the A set and the B set. And then there's also like a update set, like new versions and whatnot. So four piles and then any numbered refractors, re regular refractors. If you find any other crazy things in here. I don't know if you can get sketches in this product. I, I honestly don't know. Let's see, A N A. I'll put it under the A pile because it's kind of an A card, but not quite. I love the flavor text on the back of these cards. I, I, I'm not a garbage pail person. I know some of you are going to be like, Al, you say this all the time. It's not for me. I'm not into it. Some of the cards have grown on me a bit. But I actually really like when I was sorting a lot of the cards and listing a lot of the refractors and whatnot, taking pictures of the backs and reading the actual text on the back. The text on the back of these cards is hilarious. I mean, a lot of them are also like puzzle pieces. But like this one is hilarious. This card in particular here. You know, the card collector wanted poster. Wanted for the following crimes, not caring about original Series 2 Chrome's feelings, for driving original Series 2 Chrome to the forest and abandoning it, and then complaining about not getting Series 3 Chrome. I'm like, man, Tops is calling people out. I just, it's funny. It's hilarious. I like it. I like it. So even though I wouldn't personally collect these, I love just actually looking at them. They've grown on me a lot. We have Dinosaur here. Love it. 88 of... 88A. Then the other version of that card is Farrah Fossil. It's the Farrah Fawcett. So that's pretty humorous. I actually almost sold out of Garbage Pail Kids. When I went to go grab the box, I was like, wow, we actually really don't have too much left. So definitely, if, if you're interested in some Series 3 Chrome, make sure to act fast. We have a Refractor Silent Sandy 104A. We have 102A Mugged Marcus Refractor. Ninety five A Grim Jim. I 
We have a black refractor here, 124B, king size Kevin. These are numbered 9 of 99. It's very cool there, 0, 09 of 99. Well done, Sheldon. I like that one too. Oh, we have a C variant here. Very nice, Bubba Bubble. Nice, 84C. These are quite rare. Very cool, I'm gonna actually top load that one. Two very nice boxes here for Dawn. Of course, all Topps Chrome cards like to fit into 55 point top loaders. Panini Prism cards, doesn't matter. You can put them in 35 points. But the chrome ones are just a hair thicker. They do fit much better. You you can squeeze them in 235s. I would not recommend it. So, Don, if you're in need of more top loaders, if there's anything else you'd like to top load from, or if you're opening up garbage pail on your own, make sure you have 55 points on standby. We have a lime green here, 114B, Peep and Tom, gross. There's number nine of 299s. So we're looking here at a nine box, nine ofs. Oh, we have a purple here. All the color stuff is coming out at once. 113B, Liberty Libby. And number 17 of 250. I actually expected this to be 9 of 250, just to keep the trend going, but that did not happen. We have a refractor, 119B, still Jill. And this is that whole pack. We had Ned Head, a regular Still Jill, and a Refractor Still Jill, all in the same pack. That's actually very odd. And close to the end of the box here, just four packs remain, including this one. So three sealed packs. This week we have a Green Wave here, purchased Percy, AN6B. That is number 235 out of 299. All right, we have completely lost our pattern. That one's not out of, that's not 17 of 299 or 9 of 299, so I don't know what's up with it. The box was going somewhere, and then it curved left once we hit that C variation. Still definitely not an issue, just interesting. First two were 9 ofs. We have AN3B Refractor Revved Upton. Second to last pack. We have Refractor, 104B, Baron Aaron, to match the Sandy card earlier. We have both pairs. And last pack for Dawn, we have another Refractor, 102B, KO'd Cody. Dude messed with the wrong, wrong person there. But all right, smack the tin on the way out. Why not? All right, not sure if that actually got picked up by the mug. Prone. Since it's actually much closer, the, the tin's much closer to you guys than it is to me, and it wasn't too loud for me, so hopefully it wasn't bad for you guys. We'll go ahead and move that out of the way. Just throw that on the ground, pick it up later. But let's go ahead and do a recap of this box of Series 3 Chrome, Garbage Pail Kids, 2020 Tops. Just say the whole, whole title backwards, why not? Box, Hobby, Free... Series original kids pale garbage tops 2020. There you go, backwards. Just not the actual letters, just all the words. All right, let's start off with our C variant 84C Bubba Bubble. Very cool with the uh, checklist A side on the back. And we also had four numbered refractors. We had, let's go from. Yeah, let's go from highest to lowest. Had a Green Wave, purchased Percy out of 299. We had Peep and Tom, just regular green out of 299. We had the purple Liberty Libby out of 250. And the black king size Kevin out of 99. And then for all of our regular refractors, did have this pair of the Sphinx. We had Baron Aaron and Silent Sandy. And then we also had this pair too, mugged. Marcus and KO'd Cody. All right, and then the rest we had Revved Upton, Still Jill, Grim Jim, and Dinosaur. 
And that'll do it here for not just the garbage pail kits, but both boxes here in this break for Dawn V. So thank you so much, Dawn, for letting me open up both boxes for you. Hope you're very pleased with the outcome here. Definitely a gorgeous sketch. Always awesome to find those super rare C variants. So I hope you love both boxes and these additions to your non-sport collections. But that'll do it for me here in this video. If you guys enjoyed it, don't forget to go ahead and hit that like button. Comments for me. Please go ahead and leave those down below. And of course, if you're not yet part of the Titan Cards family, we'd love to have you with us. Make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, before I head on out of here, which I will be back with more personal breaks, this is just video number two of six for the day. Do have to give a big shout out to all of our channel members. Thank you so much, you guys, for going above and beyond with your support. Bossman and I really, truly do appreciate it. Do have five Black Label fans, and in Bounty Hunter Breaks, Epicenter Gaming, Pooh Bear, and Stephen Olivo. We also have nine Gemmit fans, Anthony Basileo, Devon, Dusty Archuleta, Geriatric Geek, House Style 13, Jake Rhino C, Joe Howe, Michael C, and Stephen Bly. Thank you so much, all of you guys, for, like I said, your above and beyond support. We really, truly appreciate it. But that'll do it for me here in this video. We do have some more Mando coming up. But first, we're taking a little detour into Hockey Land. We have a Series 1 box and an Artifacts Hobby box for Daniel O coming up next. So make sure you stay tuned for that if you're a hockey fan. If not, I'll be back with more Mando tins later today. So make sure you stay tuned for those videos, everyone. But more importantly, stay safe, and I'll catch you later. Bye.